All right, hello, how you doing? This is Dylan Berry, Bomb Pop Radio. I'm here with Beatstone out of Norway. They're killing it with their Beatstone on Google Plus. Uh, millions of members, the whole thing, so we're glad to have them here. I'm sitting with this lovely young lady at the Hollywood Music and Media Awards, and we will be talking about your experience in the industry. Yes, no, I'm so excited to be here. It's been an honor and so much fun. So you are the award winner. It's It, it exists somewhere in this facility. Uh -huh. But you won the award for what tonight? Um, outstanding achievement in social media. In other words, you're kicking butt in social media. Correct. Okay. <laughs> so the beautiful thing about you that I, I actually really appreciate is that you've created this on your own. And just being you. you know, just being me, being authentic. Started just sitting in my bedroom, playing my guitar, little Kodak camera, and slowly, slowly progressed and people started catching on to my music and following me and I'm like, well, this is cool. And so, yeah, it, it kind of was weird because I was like, well, I'll just try it, see what happens. And like never, never would have dreamed that I'd be where I am today. So it's amazing. So, so for those that don't know Tiffany Alvord, which is like two or three of you, <laughs> um, she's got millions of followers on YouTube all over the world. Um, she started off singing cover songs, has gone on to do an original music of her own uh, and become very successful at that because of her honesty, which is why I'm here, because I support independence and honesty. Woo! And that's, you know, the brave new frontier. So Literally um, done it all on our own and just with me, my fans, my momager, which is my mom's and manager. And, <laughs> and yeah, it's crazy to think that we can do that in this world and this day and age because before you'd need a label you would right. need professional industry people to make anything happen and now you can do it on your own you can do it on your own you don't have to be steered by yeah you can you have the power to create your own destiny with the tools that we're given today so it's crazy I and mean, to put that into practical form it used to be you had to pay a lot of money to be on tv now you can put it on youtube you can distribute through all of these distribution channels, the tune cores and the whatevers of the world that will put your music out. Yeah, it's crazy. You can reach your audience. So, um, and, and what I think is interesting, not to be too like, you know, over the top about how fantastic you are, is it's interesting that it really takes people responding in an honest way to your honest musical expression for you to be able to be where you are now. Um, Obviously, you started from somewhere. I want to talk about where you came from. You know, what's what's your history as an artist? So my history as an artist, um, well, when I was 10, I started writing songs. Just loved it, had a passion for writing. And so that's where it kind of began. And I've always loved writing about what I go through and things that happen to me. And so it's kind of my way of like venting, expressing myself as most musicians, you know, relate to that. <laughs> and then originally I wanted to get into acting. And so I did theater growing up, and when acting kind of, I didn't pursue it super hard, I guess, before I found YouTube, and I was like, well, I like singing too. So it wasn't like, oh, I want to be a singer. Originally, I wanted to be an actress, and so music, you don't have to audition music kind for of YouTube. found me, yeah. You just put it on. Exactly. Know? So when you put up your first YouTube videos, did it immediately trans transfer to a bunch of views and a bunch of um, You know, or? not really. So I posted my first video, and I remember after like two or three weeks, I think it had 300 views, and I remember my brother's girlfriend at the time was like, oh, I'll share it on, you know, MySpace, and maybe it'll get, you know, she's trying to help it get some views, and it's like, okay, cool. And so I was like, 300 views, wow, that's like awesome, like, you know, it's a couple it's like, hundred. It's like a hundred persons that watched it three exactly. times. Exactly, yeah. <laughs> and so, you know, I kept doing the... YouTube thing, kept posting covers, and it took a while. It, Like I said, it's slow progression. It wasn't like overnight, one song. It's right. just been being consistent and showing people that, hey, this is what I do, this is what I love, and it's not just like a one-time thing. How long have you been at it? I've been on YouTube for seven years. In April, it'll be eight, I think. So you started when you were like 16? 15. 15? Yeah, so it's been a while, and there's been fans that have been following me since some of my first videos, and I'm just like, wow, like, you literally grew up with me, like, it's well, it's, awesome. it's funny, because this, this event that we're out right now, 
is it's a Hollywood Music and Media Awards, right? So it's it's media music people, and but in that community, which is like you know, there's a much older crowd, there's a much younger crowd. There's like a few fans that were like, ah, they just lost their, you know, their marbles. they lost their marbles, you know, when you <laughs> when you got up and did your thing. And I, I think it's it's so cool that you actually reach people on that level. You and know, that's I, what I want to do. I want to be yeah. able to connect and be like, hey, we're all going through the same stuff in life. Like, music is a way to like get to people and to make them know you're not alone. Like, that's the interesting thing, thing about music in this day and age is like. It, it really is about communicating directly with people. It's not, okay, I'm this big fabricated artist. I'm like, you know, Janet Jackson on the, you know, one, whatever Beat Nation tour. Exactly. You it's know, much more personable. Right. It's reachable. It's like, oh, I can talk to them. Like, they're like my friend next door. Like, yeah, they Snapchat you. And exactly. <laughs> no, but really, crazy. like, I'll have, you know, conversations with my fans and they'll tell me things they're going through and it's like, I'll give, you know, a piece of advice and, like, try to help. But it's it's that personal of a level where it's like, hey, I'm your friend. I'm here for you. Yeah. Well, listen, congratulations on all your successes. You deserve them. Thank you, you so much. You're a beautiful, much. fantastic artist. Thank you. We will continue to follow you and support you. I appreciate so, it. Appreciate you coming out. Thank you so this much. This is Dylan Berry at the Hollywood Music and Media Awards. I am here with Beatstone out of Norway, holding it down oh, yeah. for independent artists. We appreciate them a lot. Uh, and we have Tiffany Alvord. If you don't know Tiffany Alvord, go check her out. She's amazing. You should uh, do it. We're signing off. <laughs> Peace.